All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Kakodash. Yahweh is the true, holy, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, Bahasham, meaning in the name. And Yahweh Shah is the true, holy, and powerful name of His only begotten Son, who is the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting off with the elect within the nation of Israel. And Israel consists of you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as well as your Israelite foreigners scattered abroad that may look like the nations where you've been scattered to, but our Israelites. And I also want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect pushing out this word in all sincerity and truth. All right, this is the brother you call from the GMS branch out in Des Moines, Iowa, coming back at you with a quick lesson inspired by the Holy Spirit, Havakai Kodash. And um, I'm on my way just walking to the gym right now, and uh, I was doing some meditating. I, I actually was trying to get a lesson in before I left, but the Spirit wasn't really hitting me heavy, and I didn't want to force it, but... As I started walking, you know, I was pondering. Uh, actually, the past few days, I've been pondering on uh, this scripture here, all right, which shows you the mindset that King David has. So this is Psalms 139 and uh, 23. It says, search me, O Yahweh, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any way, if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Right. So King David, this is a prayer of King David. All right. And he's literally asking him. All right asking the lord all right so like you asking y'all about shimmy i was shy to um to search him all right you go into that word search let's look it up here it's pretty much examine all right if i'm not mistaken it may even say scrutinize ah that's satan all right here we go so search me It says to search, search for, search out, examine, investigate. All right, to search through, explore, to examine thoroughly. Right, um, that's pretty much the point. All right, so uh, King David was asking the Lord to, to examine him and to also do what? Uh, search me, O Yahweh, and know my heart, try me. All right, let's go into that word, try. It says to examine, once again, to test, prove, try of gold, of gold persons, the heart man of the most high, right? And the scriptures say how uh, gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So the way that the Lord tries us is he puts us in different situations and see how we respond to it, all right? And as the scripture says, let's grab it here. Hopefully uh, the traffic isn't too loud. Y'all can still hear. All right, this is the book of Sirach 27 and 5. It says, uh, the furnace proveth the potter's vessels, so the trial of man is in his reasoning. So the way that the Lord tries our heart, all right, is by putting us in uh, situations, all right, and see how we reason through it, all right, how we respond, how we react. So this is our true test, you know, in different situations that we're put in, the Lord allows us to go through it, all right, to see how we respond, huh? Okay. And King David was praying that the Lord takes him through this process. All right. And as he goes through this process, verse 24, and see if there be any wicked, wicked way in me. So, right. Let's so he, he gets put in the situation and he gives a, a, a bad judgment. All right. Or makes a, a, a bad decision. You know, something that's not aligned with the scriptures or so on and so forth. All right. And when he does those things or when he goes off. He says, and see if there be any wick wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. So lead him in the right path. So essentially what King David is really praying is that the Lord molds him. All right. That the Lord molds him to make him acceptable. And just to prove that we can go into another song. Because this is what we should be asking and praying that the Lord molds, uh, molds us to be uh, acceptable in his sight. Because that's what we want. We want to be accepted. By how by Shemi Awashai, we don't have to be accepted by men. All right, we don't. It doesn't matter what everyone else thinks of us. It matters what Yahweh by Shemi Awashai thinks of us. All right, but this is the Book of Psalms, chapter nineteen. I believe this is also a Psalm of David. Yep, to the chief musician, a Psalm of David. All right, Psalms nineteen and one. Let's jump down to the last, uh, the last verse, verse fourteen. It says, "I'm gonna start at verse thirteen. As a matter of fact." Man, I'm going to start at uh, 12. It says, who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Right. So even when 
he may go off and he doesn't realize it, all right? He's praying unto the Lord that what he cleanses him of his secret faults, all right? It says, um, keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Verse 14, let the words of my mouth, this is the point, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Yahweh, my strength and my redeemer. All right, so he was praying that his words, his thoughts, everything is acceptable unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So that's what he was asking. And that should be our same mentality. That should be our same mindset. You know, that the things that we do, that we say, that we think is accepted by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right, because we don't want to be rejected by the Lord. And that's even a prayer that King Solomon prayed for, man. Let me uh, get that. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9, and verse uh, 4. All right, so this is when King Solomon was praying for wisdom. But it says, Wisdom of Solomon 9 and 4, Give me wisdom that sitteth by thy throne, and reject me not from among thy children. And majority of our people are going to be rejected by the Lord. All right. Their thoughts, their intents, it's not acceptable unto the Lord. They aren't being molded, all right, uh, to, to fit the image of Yahweh Shai, man. And the elect is going to be molded into that image, man. Just to prove that in the book of Romans, chapter 8, and verse uh, let's see. I'm going to start at verse uh, 27. It says, and he that searcheth the hearts, right? So the Lord searches our hearts, our minds, our intents. All right. It says, uh, and he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is in the mind of the spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of the Most High. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Most High, to them who are the called according to his purpose. So no matter what situations we're put in, what trials all right, that we're put in to uh, test our integrity and test our um, our reasonings, all right? As long as we endure and we have a mindset to serve Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh Shai, it's going to work for our betterment. Because what? A man that has that mindset, he's going to repent, all right? Even if he slips, he's going to get back up. A just man falls seven times and get back up and gets back up. So the point being is that a just man is going to get back up, all right? He's going to try and uh, examine himself, recognize his faults, and correct them. All right, as opposed to a wicked person, all right, who uh, is chastened of the Lord and they uh, they blame the Lord or they don't examine themselves and so on and so forth, like two thirds of our people, man. All right. But anyways, all right, to, to get to get to the point, it says, um, verse 29, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. Right. So there's particular men on the planet Earth that are going to be conformed to the image of his son. Now. Us being conformed to the image of his son. My bad. So I can... All right, us being conformed to the image of his son is us conforming ourselves to the, to the scriptures. Pursuant to Romans, the 12th chapter it says, Be ye not conformed to this world with the form of this world, right? But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So we renew our mind through these precepts. The scripture says, How shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to his word. So that's how we're transformed. All right, we read these precepts and we apply them to our lives. All right, we apply them to, to our mindset. All right, we try and think all right, uh, through these scriptures, man. That's how we're transformed. But that's how we are uh, transformed to the image of his son, you know? So this is what our desires should be so that we can be accepted by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. It says uh, Romans chapter 8 and verse. Uh, 28 and we know that all things are verse 29 for whom he did for no he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren moreover whom he did predestinate so these same individuals that are going to be conformed to the image of his son all right it says moreover whom he did predestinate then he also called and whom he called then he also justified and whom he justified then he also glorified, right? So these men are going to be justified by the blood of the lamb, man. It says, what shall we say then to these things? If the most high be for us, who can be against us? He that spared it. Yeah, I'll keep reading through. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. 
how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Verse 33. Who shall lay anything to the charge of the Most High's elect? It is the Most High that justify. And that's right, man. So at the end of the day, even though we slip, even though we messed up in the flesh, we've done things that are worthy unto death, just like King David. Well, King David was a man after the Most High's heart. Even though he uh, messed up, all right, he slipped in the flesh a few times, yet his desire was still to be to serve the Lord. And he and he um and uh, uh, he still he still did that, man. All right. Even, even when he messed up. All right. As a matter of fact, let's go to Psalms, the 51st chapter. All right. And this is just through the spirit, you know, uh, a mindset thing, because the scriptures say uh, how King David was a man after the most high's heart. All right. So he was hoping to be. Uh, he was hoping to be um, molded uh, to uh, to someone accepted acceptable in the sight of Yahweh by Shemi Shai. and that should be our mindset as well. This is Psalm chapter fifty-one and verse. Uh, man, you know what? Since this is a beautiful chapter, I'll just read it from the top. It says, "Have mercy upon me." I, well, let me read. Let me read up. It says uh, to the chief musician, the Psalm of David, when Nathan, the prophet, came unto him after he had gone in to Bathsheba. Right. So this is when he committed adultery. Nathan all right, the prophet Nathan gave him the news and he was cut to the heart. All right. And this is this was his mindset once he uh, committed that sin. It says, have mercy upon me. Right. So he asked for mercy. All right. He didn't make excuses. He ain't trying to act like it wasn't him. All right. Or whatever. He didn't try and justify himself. He begged for mercy immediately, man. Have mercy upon me, O Yahweh, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions, right? So he was praying that the Lord blots out his transgressions, and that's what we're hoping for. That's what we're praying for, right? It says, um, wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Salah here. Uh, just give me a second. I need to cross the street. All right. All right. Let me read that again. Uh, Psalms 51 and verse 2. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Wash me uh, thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me. Or verse 3. For I acknowledge my transgressions. And my sin is ever before me, right? So he acknowledged that he messed up, you know? It says, against thee, thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shaped in iniquity and in sin that my mother conceived me. Verse six, behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, right? So he recognized like the Lord is looking for truth in the inward parts. He's searching for uh, that inward man to be upright, all right? The Lord doesn't care about the outward appearance, the outward apparel and so on and so forth. He's judging your intent, your heart, all right? The inward man, your spirit. It says, uh, behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts and in the hidden parts, thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop and thou shalt be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all mine iniquities. And this is the point that I wanted to grab. Verse 10, it says, Create in me a clean heart, O Yahweh, and renew a right spirit within me. Right? So he said, Create in me a clean heart, a clean mind. All right? Purify my intents. Purify my mind, the way that I think, the way that I reason. All right? This is what he was asking for. Create me a clean heart, O Yahweh, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. All right. So this is a prayer that we should always be praying, man, that the Lord doesn't take his Holy Spirit away from us. All right. That he purifies us, you know. So, hey, uh, that's that's the mentality that we should have, uh, that we should have in this faith, man, uh, in this faith. And once again, like that's a heavy prayer that he prayed in that Psalms 139, man. Search me, try me if there's any wicked way in me. All right, lead me in the way everlasting, man. You know, so I just kind of want to go through that through the spirit. Uh, Lord's word, I was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing out this word in all sincerity and the truth. 
with that, I'm going to say Shalom.